First, adjunct professor Stacy Porter gives this Palm Beach County landmark an A plus with its beach bungalow vibe and fun in the sun atmosphere. She says it's the perfect place to go when you need a break from the normal grind. Both locals and vacationers alike visit for their signature gourmet hot dogs and mouth-watering barbecue. And they say you'll never leave hungry. It's in Jupiter and it's called Dune Dog Cafe. My name is Ricky Barrios. I'm the managing partner at the Dune Dog Cafe. So we're all American Fair. We're a family-focused restaurant. We have everybody from blue-collared workers to suit and ties coming in, sitting down next to each other at the restaurant. Hot dogs, hamburgers is predominantly what we were known for when we started in 94, but we sell a lot of seafood, steaks, lobsters. Our ribs are probably one of our more popular items. We use a Hebrew National all-beef kosher hot dog on a New England-style bun. So picture a hot dog bun with the sides shaved off, buttered and toasted. Our most popular dogs probably going to be our junkyard dogs, our homemade dot sauce. It's like a red onion, spicy tomato sauce, our homemade chili, cheese, and onions. All our signs here were made by ex-coworkers. A lot of these things that you see here, these sculptures and wooden sculptures were donated to us by customers. Our decor just kind of grew as our customer base grew. It's really all about fun. I don't think I've ever come to work in the past 12 years that I've been here and ever felt like I've had to work. Most of the staff that's been with us been with us 10, 15, 22 years. Uh, it's really like a big family. To really experience Dune Dog, to really feel what it's all about, you, you really just gotta come in. You gotta pull up and get a hot dog. Is it right on the beach? No, it's actually not okay. right on the beach. It's off of a busy road. Mm -hmm. So you would never know that it exists there, but it does feel like a beach cafe when you get mm -hmm. there. It's like a thatch tiki hut, outdoor dining, beach inspired, vacation, local loving place. In the midst of a city. In the midst of like a railroad track and a very busy road. Yeah. <laughs> <It's so cute. laughs> right? It's almost yeah. like they wanted to yeah. just kind of take you away they from do. everything. They right? do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they do. And they do it successfully. I mean, locals love it and vacationers love it. And it's always crowded. They do not take reservations. I had their Yankee nachos to begin with, and those are not normal nachos. They're like waffle fry nachos. Oh, so the waffle yeah. fries instead of the chip? Yes. So like no wonder crispy, it's called the Yankee. warm waffle okay. fries. Cheese sauce? Yes. Yes. Cheese <laughs> sauce. Absolutely. Chili. But they use like fresh scallions, fresh tomatoes, so it adds a little bit. It's not so heavy. Then I had their ribs. So I had their half slab of ribs. Nice. Baby back or spare? Baby back, okay. yes. And they um, tangy barbecue sauce, fall off the bone. I mean, that's what they advertise, but sometimes they don't live up to, you know. But this but place really does. are really tender and delicious. Nice. Um, and Kathleen, what did you think? I liked it. I, you know, I think it would have been great if it was on the beach because it definitely has that feel. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I went with the dog. I've mm -hmm. heard they were famous for him. I had a chili dog. I will say. I'm very picky about my dogs. It uh -huh. had the bite, you know, the skin oh, it did. on. Oh, I love that snap. Yeah, it had the bite. The chili good. was good. It tasted homemade, not out of a can or mm -hmm. anything, so it was really nice. And they put it in a lobster roll bun, which I thought was a nice touch. No doubt. Uh, so it was almost like an elevated chili dog. It was very good. Lovely. I also had wings. I had the one with an Asian sauce. Hadn't tasted anything like it before. They were fried, okay. but no breading. So, you okay. know, just crispy skin, which is gotcha. what I like. So yeah. it was good. And then I had a pumpkin ale beer, which was delicious. Cool. Andre? Mm -hmm. I had the Chicago style hot dog. Being from Chicago, I was pretty excited about that, so I haven't had, haven't had the opportunity to have many Chicago dogs since I've lived in Florida, so that was exciting for me. So tell us, Florida people, what a what Chicago is dog is. Well, a Chicago style hot dog typically will come on a poppy seed bun, tomato, a pepper they call sport pepper. Those really bright green ones, right? Yeah, really bright green, they can be spicy. Celery, salt, mustard, definitely no ketchup. No Got catch it. up in Chicago. Got it. So <laughs> it, it was very good. And on the lobster roll is definitely a different mm -hmm. twist of the Chicago dog, but I really oh, so enjoyed it. So all the hot dogs were done with the lobster Yeah, everything I seen came on a lobster roll, which was nice. a different, different twist, but it was really good. Do you have anything else? It was else? really good. Yeah, we had onion rings. The onion rings were really good. Are actually. they the fat ones or the skinny They were ones? the really fat, nice, crunchy mm -hmm. ones. They were mm -hmm. really, really tasty. And uh, we had mozzarella sticks too, same thing. So the Yeah, there was a dipping sauce. sauce. It was just really good. It was different. I think they gave it with us the mozzarella sticks at first. Oh. And I just kind of noticed looking around, like everybody was using it for everything, it seemed like. And it was I just, good. It was really good. I've never had, I actually took some home. I'm like, I got to Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I was, there was just so many things. I was looking around, I'm like, okay, we're coming back here. Because nice. we, co we go up to Jupiter a lot. So, oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. How was the service, Kathleen? Great. It was four-star service. I mean, here you're walking into like a shack, basically, right? 
they had runners, they had your server, wow, they had people cleaning up yep. your empty plates as mm -hmm. soon as you kind of pushed them to the side. Smiling. Smiling, oh, friendly, friendly, talkative. Yeah. I mean, the service was spectacular, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, the two of you had dessert. Yeah. Yeah, we had the brownie sundae. Okay. I have a five-year-old, so that was right. her <laughs> highlight of the of the visit. But it was excellent. We 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 shared it at yeah. the table. It was and their great. desserts yeah. are mainly just ice cream. Yeah. Based. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. and um, the kids get with their meal like a free ice yes. cream. Yeah. So that's oh, what God. I always get too, just like a scoop of vanilla with sprinkles. Well, Stacy, Dune Dog was your <laughs> choice. Sum it up for us, please. I think it's a true local landmark um, that brings a beachy, fun vibe. Um, with great service. Kathleen? Definitely great dogs and great service. Andre? Excellent service, great hot dogs, cool family spot. Nice. Well, for a beach-inspired bite, surf on over to Dune Dog Cafe, located at 775 North Alternate Highway A1A in Jupiter with an additional location in Stewart. Open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about 20 bucks.